Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time and spending a little time with me. I always appreciate that. And before we get started with the video, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, cut on your notifications, and hit that like button. Now, stay tuned for your feature presentation. So before I dive into the video, man, I wonder how many of you guys will watch the whole video. You guys have no idea how many times somebody will comment on something, and then when I say, well, did you watch the whole video? They'll say, no, I didn't. <laughs> so bottom line, man, just make sure you're well informed before you question something. I just always find that amusing. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this, man. I want you to see this play here in regular speed, and then we're going to go back in and break it down. Right, so as you can see here, it looks beautiful in, in full speed, right? Looks phenomenal. We're gonna rewind this thing back. Rewind one time. All right, now let's come back and look at it again. Beautiful. You would think, oh, Le'Veon Bell is getting busy. Now here's the problem. Let's look at it in slow motion, okay? There are a couple things that we have to point out. Okay, I'm not too mad at, at uh, 91 there. I'm not sure if that's uh, Wake. Or not because you know we're far along in our CFM, you know, online, and not really sure who was on this guy's team. I was actually playing the CPU here because uh, my opponent couldn't play. But anyway, that's besides the point. So take a look at this. Number 91, you know, I'm not so upset about that. You know, he kind of sheds the block, he's unable to square up, and he's unable to really make a great tackle on Le'Veon Bell. Would like to see him use more of a reach tackle there. But I can live with that. But look at everyone else surrounding the play, okay? Look how the guy gets, you know, David DeCastro takes care of him. He doesn't even really pay attention to Le'Veon Bell. You know, number 66 is D David DeCastro. I don't know who the other guy is, but we're going to turn it around so you can see this from this perspective. All right, so take a look at number seven here, okay? It's like he's going right towards David DeCastro right here. He makes no attempt to look at Le'Veon Bell. Okay, this is one of the biggest things I've always talked about, man. The most important things in a sports title is AI and player movement. Those are the most important. And what I'm showcasing here, guys, is the lack of awareness. Okay? Now, I don't do many breakdowns anymore on Madden 18 because, guys, I am beyond Madden 18. I've been giving feedback on Madden 19 for months now. But every now and then, I will pull out a game, you know, you know, I play, and you know, like I said, I don't play the game as often. I only play it in CFM. Uh, I might get back into it here coming up soon. You know, I, I usually do an offline CFM with the draft class or what have you. But when I see certain things, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and point this out. Now, look at number 34 here. Again, awareness. Why is he taking that angle to the running back? He should be able to square up Le'Veon Bell and make the tackle. Look at this. He shows good awareness as far as, you know, trying to cover the play here or, you know, play safety. But look at this. Why wouldn't he go straight towards Le'Veon Bell? Now, you would think, guys, that this benefits me because it's, you know, I'm winning this situation here, but I don't like this. Players need to be more aware of what's going on around them, make better decisions, try to be more involved in the play, and then also, of course, you know, player movement, you know, that's always going to be top priority in my eyes. But all in all, guys, if you just didn't slow this down, if you played it in regular speed, you would think that everything played out appropriately. You might see number 34 there, but that's my point. I need a game that I can go back in, look at instant replay, and see exactly what happened and why it happened. That to me is how you replicate the real world to the best of your ability. All right, so that's all I got for you for this particular video, guys. You know the routine. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Cut on your notifications so you know when the next video is available. And I promise, guys, it'll never hurt you to hit that like button. All right, so that'll do it for this particular video. But until next time, let me know what you think. Peace.